Hello, my name is Giles Mooney. I'm one of the directors at Absolute Accounting Software. One of the main concerns that people have when buying new software is how long it's going to take to teach their staff how to use it and how easy it is to use for themselves. We've produced a short video to help you understand our integrated package and to see exactly how easy it is. I'll hand you over to our support director, Sarah Murray, to take you through the software. The first thing I'd like to show you is the Absolute Accounts program. To open up the Absolute software, you just need to double click on the icon and it will take you into this screen which we call Client Base. To set up a new client, you need to click on Edit and then New Client and complete all of the entries via here. So if it's a limited company, you set up the limited company as one client, the directors as separate clients and then you link them to that limited company by clicking on the Business button and then the Directors option and then you just add them. And once they're added, just click OK. Once you've done that, if you just highlight the limited company that you wish to work on and click on the accounts icon in the top left hand corner of the screen. It will bring up any accounting periods that you've already done, so you can just highlight it and select OK. Or if it's the first year, it will just take you straight into the accounts programme. So I'm going to highlight that year and click OK. This then takes you into the accounts programme. So the first thing we recommend is that you move to the client data tab and just ensure what's pulled through from client base is correct. So if you click on edit common data, you've got the name, address, things like that. Period, if you wanted to alter the period, you just click on the edit button here, alter the year end, the current year or the comparative year. And if it's longer or shorter than 12 months, you just enter the number of days there and then click OK. Roundings, I'd recommend that you check that tab. Now the default roundings are 4,000, which is sales, and 1,400, which is bank and then you've got a depreciation. If you want the program to automatically calculate depreciation, you just need to tick the box, set up the relevant percentage, and then select whether it's a straight line or a reducing balance, and then click OK. Once you've done that, you can go to Edit Limited Company Data. If you go to the Officers tab, it should automatically have pulled through the, you, the directors that you added through client base, so you should see them there. It will automatically complete the name via the balance sheet tab and you must have this completed for filing the NIXBRL. So the director signing, you can have up to three people sign in the balance sheet. You've got shares tab, so you've got A, B and C shares or anything further than that, you go to the all shares tab and you can have up to ten share types. Director's report, the person signing the director's report and the position that they hold. And then you've also got the accountant's report and again you must have a date entered there. You then click OK and you can then move to the financial data tab. So there are several ways of getting a trial balance into the software. You can import a trial balance from something like Sage Line 50, VT Transaction and you just to do that you just go to File and then Import and then select the relevant programme. You could import something like Excel from an Excel spreadsheet. So if you go to Help and then Excel Sample it will show you the format that needs to be used. So in the first column, you've got the nominal code. In the second column, you've got the narrative. And then in the third column, you've got the debits and the credits. You just highlight everything, right mouse click and select copy, open up the program, and then just do edit and pay special. It will ask you what chart of accounts you're using. So you just select absolute, click OK, and it will pull it through. Alternatively, you can just physically type in the trial balance into the software by clicking on add data source, Select Trial Balance Entry, click OK. This then brings up the posting schedule. So it's just a case of entering the nominal code. So in this case, I'm going to select Sales, tabbing through the screens, and then entering your debits and your credits. If you click on the code column here and then the ellipse button, you can then see the chart of accounts. And you can alter any of the descriptions by highlighting the nominal code, clicking on edit and altering the description through there and then just clicking OK. So if I just click OK now, that shows my nominal codes and I can then click on trial balance and it brings up my trial balance. So anything that's highlighted in blue means you can actually drill down on that particular figure. So for example, I could drill down on trade debtors. That shows me the journal and if I drill down on it again, it takes me to the original posting window. So here I could alter the nominal code, the dates, the amounts, etc. And then when I just click OK and then rerun the trial balance tab, it will automatically refresh it and pick up the changes. 
Once you've done all your postings, you can then click on Final Accounts and you've got abbreviated accounts. So these are the IXBRL accounts that go to Companies House. So you're just looking through. Anything that's in blue means it's tagged for IXBRL. So if you just go through, you can go to eFile and you can either validate the file first or you can click on Transmit and it will file it directly to Companies House. You then go to eFile and check for a response and it will pull back the acceptance or the rejection. If I then refresh the tabs and click on Full Accounts, this will run the IXBRL full accounts that go to HMRC. So again, anything that's in blue means it's tagged for IXBRL. Just scrolling through, checking that you're happy with all the entries. So on the right hand side, where the figures are, you can actually drill down on the figures. So for example, if you click on that one there, it again shows me the nominal code that I've posted to and the figure that's pulling through. And if you click on it again, it shows you the narrative. And again, you can drill down, takes me back to my original posting window where I can make any changes, press OK, and it will then rerun the accounts. Once you've looked at the final set of accounts, if you wanted to make any amendments, for example, to say the policies or the notes, this would all be dealt with via the Disclosure Formatting tab. And you simply click on Edit Notes, select the relevant note, tick the box to include, and then just type the text that you wish to appear. Again, as soon as you click OK and then run those final accounts, that change will be picked up. You can also create your own notes by clicking through there, or you can also edit accounting policies by clicking on Edit Wording, select the policy that you wish to amend, click OK, and you can either add to that text, delete that text, and then you just click OK, and again, as soon as you click on the Final Accounts tab, it will automatically pick up those changes for you. So once you're happy with the final accounts, you would then click on the tax icon along the top. So what it's now going to load is the CT600. Before it gets to that point, it will ask you if there's any capital allowances. If I click Add here, it brings up all the various pools. So if I select General Pool, click OK. Now you must enter a type from the drop-down, but you can alter the title that appears. You either enter an addition there, or if the figure attracts AIA, you just enter the amount there and then click OK. Click OK again, it then brings up the adjusted profit window. So the adjusted profit window is automated based on the nominal code that you've posted to. So it's just a case of checking the entries and making sure you're happy with them. If not, you can just simply overtype the figure there and then just click OK. I'm going to select the CT600 because that's what I'm working on. It then brings up the CT600 on screen. So as you can see, you've got the form. It's pulled through things like the start date, the end date, the UTR. It will also have completed the figures. And if I click on this paper clip in the top left-hand corner, it automatically attaches the accounts and the computations that are filed to HMRC. So there's nothing else for you to do. You can just click OK there. If you click on the summary tab at the bottom of the screen, this will detail the entries that are going to be transmitted to HMRC. So this isn't what you've completed, this is what's actually transmitted. So if you scroll down, on the left-hand side, you've got the narrative. Down the middle of the screen, you've got the box number and then the corresponding figure on the right-hand side. You can then run the computation, just make sure you're happy with that. And once you're happy, you just click on FBI Transmit. A window will pop up saying, would you like to transmit yes or no? You say yes, you enter your user ID and password. This will be retained if you've ticked Remember Password. Click OK and the whole thing will be transmitted to HMRC. So that's how to complete and file a set of IXBRL accounts to HMRC along with a CT600 and an IXBRL computation. I'm now going to show you how the other tax products work. So if I highlight this client here and click on the tax icon, it's going to open up the SA100 for this particular client. You can select the tax office, and then you can go through, working through the core return, pages 1 to 8 on the right hand side of the screen. You can just go through. You can either simply complete the figures by just directly typing into the box, or alternatively, if you click on this icon here, it will take you to the backing schedules. So if I say yes to add an interest paid net schedule, and then click on insert line, I can just enter an account number, the net figure, and then click OK, and then when you go back 
to the main form, it's automatically reflected that figure here. So again, moving through the pages on the right-hand side, or you can click on the Schedule tab at the bottom of the screen and just go through and insert the schedules that you want. So, for example, dividends. And you can go through and you can insert the dividends, the date, etc., the amount per share, the distribution. And again, when you go back to the main form, the figure will have automatically filtered through. So once you've completed and moved through the core pages on the right hand side of the screen, you can then start to add supplementary pages. To do this, just click on add pages. If I select the employment schedule and click on add, then select OK. Type in the income from the P60, any tax that may have been deducted, As you can see, in the top left-hand corner, it does validate the return as you go through. So if I click on that particular link there, it shows me that I don't have a PAYE tax reference entered. So if I just enter one and then click to a different box, it validates it and then disappears. And you can just keep moving through, adding the relevant pages as you go along. Once you're happy with that, if you click on the Summary tab at the bottom of the screen, this will detail everything that's going to be transmitted to HMRC. So you've got the narrative down the left-hand side of the screen, the box number down the middle, and the corresponding entry that's going to be filed down the right-hand side of the screen. You can then hit the computation button, and you will need to enter any payments on account that have already been made. If you then click OK, it runs the tax computation on screen. If for any reason the basic rate band has to be extended, it will explain how much it's been extended by and the reason why. And then once you're happy with everything, you just click on FBI Transmit. A window will pop up asking if you'd like to transmit. You just say yes, enter your user ID and password, and the whole return will be filed to HMRC. The screen should then complete with the acceptance, and the program will automatically update the client log and client base to reflect the date of acceptance. Moving on to partnerships, if I highlight the client in the list, click on the business button. As you can see here, I've set it to type partnership. What you would then do is click on the partners button and add the partners so that they then become linked to that partnership. If I click on this drop down arrow here, it will show you the various types of accounts that the software can deal with. If I then click OK and highlight the partnership in the list, click on the accounts icon select the year end, and in the same way as you would for the limited company accounts, you go through, you check the client data, you then move to the financial data tab and import your trial balance or add your trial balance. You can then check the trial balance by clicking on the trial balance tab here, and it displays it along the bottom, and then click on the final accounts tab. If I run the full accounts, I can just check them here. And again, you can click on the tax icon. I'm going to select the SA800 because I want to deal with the partnership and then click OK. This then displays the partnership return on screen. If you move to page 7 of the return, so the partnership statement, in this case I've got two because there are three partners. You should be able to see this transfer button along the top. If I click on that, it will then load the SA100 for that particular partner adding a set of partnership pages and pulling through their share of the partnership income. You can then just continue through, adding the supplementary pages, so for example, employment, self-employment, etc. And then again, run your computation, enter any payments on account that the client has already made. And then again, click on FBI Transmit and file the whole return to HMRC. Again, once the return has been transmitted, it will update the client log to reflect this. So now I've shown you how all the various types of clients work within the Absolute Integrated Package. I'm now going to show you how it's all pulled together using the Client Base Manager. So Client Base is what we call uh, the central database. So everything feeds from Client Base. So all of the clients will always be stored here, and then you just access the various programs by selecting one of the relevant icons along the top.
So to add clients, you're simply going to edit and then new client. And then via the business button, you're just updating the details such as year end, company registration, UTR, and the most important, the type of entity that you wish to work on. And then click OK. You can also set up various deadlines in client base. So if I highlight, for example, the limited company here and click on the dates option, you can enter when things are due and the program, when you file anything, will automatically update the date you sent it. As you should be able to see, these clients are highlighted in red. The reason they're in red is because the deadline is overdue. So it's clear to see that I still have work outstanding on these particular clients. You can set up various deadlines, so for example, red if it's overdue, green if it's due within, say, 10 days, orange if it's due within 30 days, and then you can produce various reports off the back of that. There is also a reports facility here, and there's various ones you can do. There are ones that are already set up in the system, or you can create your own by clicking on Create New, entering a report title, clicking OK, and then it's just a case of building up the columns like you would in Excel. So for the reports to make any sense, you'd normally set something like client code, client name, and any of these other drop-down fields here. So it might be something like SA return due, SA return sent, or it could be something like telephone number. And if you just click OK there, click OK again, it brings up the report on screen. This is just a brief overview of how the Absolute Integrated Package works. If you'd like any further information or an online demo specific to you, please call on 01869 255 797 or email sales at absolutetax.co.uk. So there you go, really quite straightforward. Our main core product within Integrated includes corporation tax, personal tax, partnership tax, accounts, and also that database to hold it all together, client base. But you can also buy add-ons to that, trust return perhaps, even CPD is available. The best thing to do is to ring our office on the number on screen or email sales at absolutetax.co.uk and the team there will be happy to help you work out which is the best package for you.